Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode. Today is a beautiful day. It's food plot day. We are getting all of our brassica blends put together. Now, I couldn't find an exact brassica blend that I wanted. There's a couple of blends. One of them was called an autumn blend. Had a few different types of brassica. There's some rapeseed in there, and then there was like three types of clover, very small amount of it. Um, and then I got a bag of turnip specifically something else to throw in there and we just mixed it all together and then we cut it into four equal parts and now we're just throwing it into these weeds rolling it over and then we're going to spray it with some glyphosate two quarts breaker it's five o'clock somewhere right what's food plot day without beer cheers boys i'm doing about five pounds five six pounds per plot which is about 10 pounds per acre it's a it's pretty close to what uh all the suggestions are that i have seen so we're doing 10 pounds per acre, so that's five pounds per plot for us, essentially, pretty close. <clears throat> and then in this plot specifically, I also carved out an area for some uh, forage beans. We'll see if those grow. It's just really to test it. I'm also gonna leave a spot in the front one for those beans as well. I just wanna see if they grow. I wanna see how well they grow. But today is all about planting. Planting, planting, planting. I've said it a million times on this channel, but as you can see, we just have weeds. It's supposed to be, I got seeds all over me. <laughs> As you can see, we just got weeds. Uh, the buckwheat didn't really work this year, mostly because it got ate off. We had a drought in June, but but for the most part, it's because every plant got about eight inches tall and then the deer just ate the crap out of it. So our buckwheat didn't really work, but I'm not too concerned. The weeds that grew in here, uh, they did a good job of leaving a lot of ground. They're not right to the ground. There's not stuff growing underneath them. It's there's a lot of open ground underneath these weeds. <clears throat> the buckwheat chokes other weeds out and it adds nitrogen when it dies. So that's not what these weeds do, but at least seeds are getting to the ground. We'll roll them over, we'll kill it, and that will it'll be the same concept. Those bent over weeds that are killed turn into soil. But I gotta keep seeding. Dad's coming with a roller, let's get after it. Got set behind just a little bit. Had to run to Menards and get some parts to fix the sprayer, but let's get back to her.
just like that. Our food plot, oh, those beers are getting shaken up on the trails. Our food plot planted, this bush right here you see, it's just, there's giant logs in a hill and some, like a massive rock pile right there. So we planted around it, but the corn is growing fantastically in this, the, two weeks since we planted it. It rained only the one time and it's been very hot. And we've got, you know, there's a couple of them sticking out on the ground a good, you know, four, five, six inches. So the corn's working great. And that's on this food plot right here. It's gonna cover this whole front side and then that whole side, the tree side's there on, on the east. Um, there's like three rows. And we're just using it for cover because we're gonna walk in on this trail right behind us here and get in behind those trees but we know deer like to lay in this tree line back here. So to block their vision from us getting in through this weedy area, once everything starts to die and these weeds are knocked down, the corn will still be standing. So that's gonna work out really well. That's gonna work out really well for us. And the tree stand's gonna be back in the corner there. For rifle season, I'm thinking the we got a tripod stand that we can move around. I don't know if I want to put it back behind this tree line overlooking both food plots, or if we just want it here in the corner. It'll be a decision then made in like October, I'm sure. But man, the anticipation's getting to an all time high now. So I am getting very pumped up. We have one good buck on camera, but it's the only buck we have on camera. We have all the cell links out today. So what is that? We have four cell links out, well, three cell links and one spy point camera all reporting to the same app. So we'll know when deer are moving around out here now. Like I said, I did about five pounds per food plot. It's 10 pounds per acre for the Brassica blend we used. So it, you know, each food plot is about a half an acre. So we did five-ish pounds uh, on each food plot. We rolled that over with the roller that you saw. It's not a very big one. It's like 400 pounds. Um, and it's only as wide as the side by side, but it does a pretty good job as you can see. And then we went over that afterwards with our sprayer, uh, two quarts per acre glyphosate. So we'd fill up the tank, the 15 gallon tank I have, put our half a gallon or two quarts in and we'd spray one side and then we went and sprayed the other. I'm really looking forward to see how the food plots grow this year, especially the one on the far west. The one on the far west, this will be, it's third-ish year of rotation and it already looked really good compared to the other half you saw that in the last video but man it's all about learning we are learning as we go here we're making our mistakes i'm doing a little bit of research but mostly just trying to learn on my own do something see the results make adjustments the following year that's really what we're doing out here but i'd like to hear from you guys how are you guys doing where are you because you know time of year is is very dependent on where you are in the states. Uh, if you're up here north, when do you plan on doing them? I'm a bit salty about last year because we got a frost so early in September. So I planted two weeks earlier this year. Last year we planted like August 1st. Um, that was that was my goal. That's when we planted, and everything was growing really good until that frost happened. So I'm hoping that if this two weeks earlier. If we get an early frost again like we did last year, we're gonna we're gonna be in an okay spot. It's gonna work out fine. So let me know where you guys are at, when you're planting, and what you're planting. So around here, we have thousands of acres of you know agriculture field all over around this property. And what I've realized is we got really lucky that the crop rotations on each side of us, uh, there's always corn and beans nearby. I wanted to give that variety. I wanted to give the deer those options so that they come and hit this before they go hit those egg fields. That's the goal. You want them in here in the evenings, like right now, you want them in here eating in October. You don't want them heading straight out to those egg fields and the neighboring properties in October. So today was pretty much just a vlog. I just wanted to show you guys and take you along as we planted and sprayed and rolled. I don't know how much I actually filmed. I got a couple time lapses that I did, but I hope you enjoyed the episode regardless. I'm ge I'm just getting excited. I'm getting pumped. Hunting season is it's close. It's about to be time. Another month and three quarters, almost two months, we'll be in the stands. It'll be time. So make sure you have hit subscribe and you've rung the bell because I will be going live for Trail Camera Tuesdays again. 
And speaking of Trail Camera Tuesday, it's that time of year, so if you guys have anything you want to send, anything interesting, fun, giant bucks, little deer, raccoons, bears, whatever it may be, make sure you send it to sergeantoutdoors at gmail.com. It's all anonymous. If you want to claim a picture, be there on a Trail Camera Tuesday while I'm live and you put it in the chat, hey, that's my deer, we can talk about it, things like that. But otherwise, I just put them all in one big folder so no one knows who sent what, and uh, we go through them together. So, once again, that email is sergeantoutdoors at gmail.com. Send all your photos there, um, and we'll, we'll do Trail Camera Tuesday live again. Oh, I'm so pumped. Woo! Trail Camera Tuesday! Let's go. Oh, it's that time of year. It's really hard to get out fishing this time of year because it's getting so close to crunch time, and we still got. I still got to put out like four tree stands out here we got to move a couple we got to cut some new shooting lanes it's a lot of work to be done in the month and three quarters ish that's left before bow season hits here in wisconsin but regardless i'm talking too much i already i already said it make sure you like share comment and subscribe ring the bell so you know when we go live and until next time i'll see you in the woods cheers